Does that make sense? Like, continuing. Hi lovelies, welcome or welcome back to this channel. In case you don't know me, my name is Lena and I create fashion, beauty and lifestyle related content. And as you read in the title, I'm gonna show you my jeans collection and basically tell you which I like the most and where you can buy them. So if you're interested in watching this, make sure to keep watching and like, comment and subscribe if you feel like doing that. Yeah, so let's jump into the video because I don't want to bore you with a long intro. So I wanted to organize this video by the brands I got the jeans from, but I noticed, <laughs> I noticed this earlier, but I noticed that basically all my jeans are from ASOS. So I am organizing this by color and I'm starting with my black jeans and where I got them from and then I am continuing showing you the blue jeans pile <laughs> okay so starting with this jeans from collusion and the name of the jeans are i believe x008 i'm gonna put it on the screen anyway i love this jeans because first they are high rise and super stretchy i don't know if you can tell in the camera and because of the fact that they are really stretchy they fit me perfectly around the waist and as you probably know it's hard to come by well not not with stretched jeans but with non-stretched jeans which you will see in a minute but yeah this is a high-rise bootleg jeans and they flare at the knees which I find super flattering for my body type and I think it just creates this beautiful curve and I just I fell in love with them right away when I ordered them I also got them in blue which I show you later I think they're very true to size and I'm I am a size 32 30 in this one yeah I think it's very good quality and I definitely recommend them to you so the second pair of jeans is this straight leg jeans from cotton on and I am size 12 or European size is 44 in them. And I like this jeans because it, it has these holes on the knees, like kind of a distressed look. I think for me, it's the perfect length for kind of a baggy look. Obviously, that's for you to decide. Um, for me, it's perfect. With these ones, I love them, but since they're not as stretchy, I have a gap in the back. I always have this problem with non-stretch jeans um, and I hate it, <laughs> but I get the but I get the problem. I mean, every body is different. I think they have a great quality. Well, basically all ASOS jeans. I think they're a bit on the pricier side, but I think that's okay if you get a good quality jeans, which in my opinion, this is quality jeans. So I am willing to pay the price. Okay, continuing. So this one I bought recently and I absolutely fell in love with it because it has this kind of extreme baggy look to it. I don't know if you could say that, but for me it's extreme baggy because it's so long and so wide and it still looks kind of flattering to me. I don't know. In the past, I didn't think I could pull it off um, like this extreme baggy look. I guess I can, I don't know. They also have no stretch in them, um, which with me is fine, I guess. So, and funny thing is, I noticed when I put it on that it was extremely high rise and extremely long. But then I looked on my order again and noticed that I ordered ADOS Design Tall. And I guess it makes sense then that they are extremely long and extremely high rise because I was wondering why like the waistband goes up to over my belly button but like this far over does that make sense so be aware um, these are tall so I don't know what to do with them yet if I wanted to alter them or if I just want to how to say this in English <laughs> like do this to the jeans this I don't know I <laughs> lost it for words here even though um they are not stretchy i think they're comfortable they said on the asos website that it was a regular fit at the waist 
Mm, I'm not sure if I'm agreeing on this because it's a little tight around the waist, but I, it could be because this is a straight leg like that kind of jeans. I think it's interesting that the jeans is so wide and long, but still is kind of flattering. And this is why I kept this jeans, even though it's so, so long, because I think they fit pretty well. And if you're searching for this, I guess Pinterest look um, of a bag of jeans, I would definitely recommend this jeans to you, even if you're small like me. So yeah, um, I have another black pair um, of jeans right here. <laughs> you see, it's, it's small. That's because it's pretty old. I believe it's around four years old, maybe five. I can tell that it's old because it's a Topshop jeans. I'm not sure if I could fit in here anymore, but I think it's always good to have skinny black jeans in your closet. So I decided to keep the jeans, even though I'm not wearing it very often or ever. <laughs> Let's get to the blue jeans. So I'm, and I'm starting with my least favorite or just the jeans I don't really wear anymore. This jeans right here is from, oh, let me just. All right, so this jeans is from Reclaimed Vintage in a size W36. I don't really like the height of the jeans. Um, you can see in the try on part, it's not as high rise as my other jeans, which is kind of bothering me. I don't know uh, if I just see that, but it looks kind of weird in the crotch area and it bothers me so much. And now that I am more into the baggier look, it's just they're too tight around the ankles and that's, the reason I'm, I'm not wearing this jeans as often. I still think it's a very pretty jean. So the next pair of jeans I don't wear at all anymore. She's still pretty, don't get me wrong, but she is a skinny bitch. I think it was supposed to be a mom jeans. Oh yeah. All right, it says slim mom jeans, but I think I gained some weight also, which makes it skinny jeans now. And I am not really as into skinny jeans as before. This one is called the Collusion X011. They're high rise and in this kind of dark blue wash. Like I said, she's still pretty, but I'm just more into baggy jeans now. This pair of jeans I already showed you, but in black. And I absolutely love this jeans. I don't have anything more to say to this jeans, except that I absolutely love it. Oh, I noticed the zipper is on the other side. So instead of opening from here, you're gonna open the jeans like from this side. I guess it's uh, for left-handed people and I never had this before. But anyways, same thing with the other jeans I showed you. They flare at the knees and it has this pretty light blue wash to it. Oh, but I, I have to say that wasn't a problem with the other black jeans, but this one has still. When I ordered and it came in, it smelled extremely like chemicals um, and it still does. And I already washed it, which is kind of annoying. Um, it, it's not as bad as before, so that is a thing you have to keep in mind if you want to order this jeans. But besides from that, I absolutely love this jeans and this pair of jeans I love very much. Wait a minute, that is very on brand for me, being prepared. This jeans is very pretty in my opinion. It is from ASOS Design in a size 34, 32. It's pretty big on the waist to be honest. It's fine with me, I'm used to it. I just tie them with a shoelace in the back or just alter them. I just love the way it fits my waist and I tie it with a shoelace in the back. I have tons of TikToks where I wear this jeans and I always, always get asked where I got this jeans from and yeah so this one is from Ansel's design it also has this distressed look to the jeans because of the 
rips on the knees. I think it's a classic jean, even though it, it has these rips on the knees, you can wear it with basically anything and I love that about this jean. But unfortunately, I sat down on the ground, which was a mistake, because now it has these oil stains. I believe it's oil. It looks like shit because it's exactly where shit would be when I would shit my pants. <laughs> can, you, can you see that? Yeah, it won't come off and I washed it a hundred times by now. Let's get right into the next one. So this one I also got recently and this... <laughs> being prepared. It's also from ASOS Design and I bought them in the size 34-34. Since I wanted the jeans to be longer, I decided to order them in a 34 length. But I definitely have to get them altered. Um, as you see in the triumph part, the area around the crotch is pretty big compared to these other jeans. I still chose to buy this jeans because I like the wash very much because it has this, I don't know, dead fits vintage jeans vibes. Well, that was a long sentence. I would love it even more if I, if I altered it and make the jeans fit me. The last jeans I'm gonna show you is this beige jeans from uh, Reclaimed Vintage and it has this pretty tag in the back and I got it in a size W36 as well. And compared to the other mom jeans from Reclaimed Vintage, um, it is very tight, like very tight. And to be honest, I forgot to return it and order it in W38, which is the biggest size um, from the brand. I, st I do still wear it just when I don't have a long day, especially when I don't have to sit a lot. The tight part is going on like around the thighs, which is obviously bothering me because it is a bit pricey. But I, yeah, I still like this jeans and I would definitely recommend sizing up in these. I do have two other jeans left. I have these pair of jeans at a friend's house because I wanted to alter them and she has my sewing machine. And that is exactly when my camera cut off for the third time. And at that point I was just sick of filming. And yeah, so this is me editing this video. And basically what I was trying to say was that I have two more jeans and that I don't have them with me at the time, uh, but I try to find some videos and yeah, so that was basically it for this jean collection video. I hope you liked it. And if you watched the video up until now, please comment this emoji so I know you are a real one. I hope you have a great day, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.